than it feels too early, but you've got a small window where then it feels like, oh, well, it's too late. They're no longer a contender. So at what point are you concerned about the Lakers? And at what point are you believing that this Grizzlies team is, as you mentioned, perhaps ahead of schedule, ready to surprise a couple of teams in the West? Yeah, let's Conference. start off with the Los Angeles Lakers. Uh, they will be in the playoffs, in my opinion. They will make some noise. But I think this team is not constructed to make some noise. This team is constructed to win championships. Right. And that's all LeBron is playing for right now. It doesn't mean that's automatic, but this team is put together to win a championship now. I mean, you look at the experience they have, the players they brought in, mm -hmm. what they let go. They're trying to win now. So I am saying the Los Angeles Lakers will be fine, just like Dominique said. I'm just a little concerned. Is this a team that can win a championship without gaining that identity on the defensive end, not gaining that grittiness. They are just coming out playing, thinking teams are going to lay down, and they're not. They're getting the best of their the, everybody's team, and they're not responding. There's some losses. There's some no moral victories, but when you compete and fight hard, I mean, throughout this game, this game has been over. We just had to wait till the buzzer game went off. This game has been over, and that's what I don't like about the Los Angeles Lakers. They are out of the games with four, five, six minutes left. That's a little concerning to me. And the Memphis Grizzlies, they just have to stay healthy. They're ahead of schedule and understand is, okay, you're there now. We're there. We were there last year. We belong, and let's just get this done. What are your thoughts, Nick, on the same question about the Lakers? Well, the Lakers right now is trying to find their identity defensively, and they haven't been consistently stopping people for, of course. I mean, you look, and you said six, seven minutes to go in this game. And they could not stop the Grizzlies from scoring. And that's going to be their Achilles heel if they don't, don't figure it out how to get better defensively. And it was really glaring tonight to watch that. I mean, you have a team that's missing your best offensive player in the Memphis Grizzlies, and you have guys like Bain scoring, Jackson is scoring. So everybody's pitching in. You had 10 guys to score for the Grizzlies tonight. So the Lakers, they got to fix this problem really quickly because there's some good teams out west. No, you still got the Golden State Warriors to contend with. You got the Utah Jazz to contend with. So you got teams out there that's like, look, I know you guys are getting a lot of, you know, love from favoring to being the favorite to win. But you know what? We're favored to win, too. So we're going to try to make it as hard as we possibly can on you. So. That was concerning with the Lakers tonight, watching them perform in the fourth quarter. Then if they are expected to contend, because as you mentioned, Smitty, this is a team that is constructed to contend. At what point or where would you like to see them seated, headed into the postseason to have that advantage? Well, I think for the uh, at least home court. I just think, you know, psychologically, you don't want to have a team that has to go not have home court in the first round and make it extremely hard. Can the Los Angeles Lakers go in and win the first game and take back home court? Yes. But why would you not want to have that home court advantage at least throughout two rounds of the playoffs? And that's what I'm looking for the Los Angeles Lakers. You don't want to just be fighting an uphill battle and you hovering around seven, six, seven. It could be tough because when you're the lower you get, now you're saying one, two, three is Phoenix, Utah, maybe Golden State. Oh, and you've got to play a, a single elimination game to no, even they, get no. the privilege of playing one of those teams. First of all, they don't want to be in that position no, where they're in the play in. And you made a great point. They are not constructed to make noise. They put this team together, brought all these pieces in to win right now. And if they go into the playoff, which I think they're going to make the playoff pretty easily, because they're going to figure it out. But if you figure out defensively going into the playoff, got that chemistry going into the playoff, I don't think it matter where they're seated because they got all these veteran guys who know how to play and they all have one on the road. So it's going to be how they come together on the defensive end that's going to give them that momentum, that chemistry going into